Are you okay? Yeah. This is Charlie's fault. Charlie? 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 <laughs> okay. Is it sideways? Does it look sideways? No, I didn't see it. It didn't pop up yet. Hold on. Okay, here we Let's go. Let's see. We're going to find out now. Yes, it is. Yes, we're sideways. I don't know why. Same you got to turn, to turn your, your, your phone thing on. I, I did. I got to help Charlie. I don't know. We're having a little difficulty. Just make sure, make believe that this thing is going. Technology. But then it's going to be. No, we have no choice. Yeah. All right, all right, I think, uh, all right, we're getting better here. Here we go. It's looking better. Uh, okay. Sorry for the difficulty, guys. We're going to try this again. Yeah, right, okay. <laughs> good afternoon, go. Greg. Good afternoon, love, love. How are you? Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon. Very good. Had a good day today. Good, good, good. good. I didn't have a good day because I had to shave the other side. I was uh, telling you uh, the story, and what happened was I had a full beard before, and it took me like three to four weeks to grow it. And then all of a sudden I started trimming, and I trimmed it a little bit too much. So now this is all I have left. But I like it. It's much nicer. Uh, it's cleaner uh, looking. I know. You like that clean cut stuff. Yeah, I know, you I look know. good. I like it. And you're tan. You look uh, good. Yeah, no, I was outside uh, doing a little bit of work. So that's why. But okay. Well, it's getting that. hot. We had a little storm. My um, electric went out for like three seconds and was instant. But now it's fine. I don't know what the hell it was. You look lovely, by the way, darling. Well, thank you. Marvelous, marvelous. Thank I must you. say. We have some beautiful guests here today. We have... Angela Tweed, and Angela is from the Tranquility Spa. Thank you for coming. And we have Caesar Tweed. Caesar, where are you from? The Tranquility Spa, right? How Caesar, old? Caesar, How? what's your name? Caesar. You sure? Yeah. Okay. You look like a Greg. How old are you, Caesar? <laughs> seven. You're seven. All right. I like the haircut. Did mom cut your hair? No. Who cut your hair? Mom's friend. Okay. okay. Good answer, Caesar. I like that. I like that. I like Good that. answer. <laughs> Sit up straight. You're on TV. Look at it. Look at it. Sit up straight. There, there you, go. you go. Already. Okay. Already. <laughs> so how is uh, today? Is um, you know beautiful out. I was watching. Uh, I was reading the news today and watching a lot of things. And there's a lot of rules if you're going to go to a restaurant now. When you go to the restaurant, there's like 13 things that you gotta know when you go to the restaurant. You can't run your server to death. You can't uh, make jokes about your server because they have so much to do. The server has no uh, choice as to how they're doing things, so don't take it out on the server. Um, and when you eat, eat, eat nicely, but after you eat, you gotta go because you have to make room for somebody else. Because, you know, there's going to be people online. So you kind of have to change the restaurant. Rush, right? And if you're sick, don't go to a restaurant. Because that's not good. Because then you're causing people, other people, to have a problem. And then there's the social distancing. And if you have children and you go to a restaurant, keep your kids at the table. I mean, it's going to be listing of these rules of restaurants now. They're making signs. you got to be pleasant. You've got to be happy. And then you have to realize that, that the staff may not be at their best, but they're doing their best. And remember, when you have three meals a day in your life, that you need to calm down, enjoy your meal, and enjoy your day. This is going to get better. It's going to change. But when you go to a restaurant, you really have to be careful as to how you react. Because believe me, I would not want to be working in a restaurant right now. I don't know about you. Would you want to work in a restaurant, Tisa? No. How come? No. Why not? I don't know. Well, you might have a reason. Think about it. Why don't you want to work in a restaurant? Because people could be mean or because you don't like to uh, serve food and clean up? I don't know. I don't know how to serve food. You don't know how to serve food? 
Well, your mom serves you food all the time, doesn't she? I don't know how to cook food. Well, okay, that okay. Because mom cooks all your food, right? So anyway, I don't know if everybody can notice, we have this special lamp on the table today. And it is a special lamp that we put this oil into the lamp. And it's um, from a special company, uh, Young Living Essential Oils. And this lady that uh, has the spa, Angela, uses these oils when you go to her spa. And trust me, they smell, you smell this? You smell yes, it? Yes. It smells delicious. I smell it. When they put that, this on your body... Got, that, that, that was the stuff you were trying to put in my hair. Yeah, right. Okay, that's good, thank you. When that's you put lovely. this on your body, this oil, let me tell you something. You go into a different space. Well, anyway, before you jump in, you're, you're jumping. We got to yeah. do what's today. Well, today, yeah, I yeah. wanted you to get today. your stuff done. No, 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 it's great, 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 killer. Okay, so what is no, today? No, today, today is Why Love National Corn on a Cob Day. All right. So, you know Why? what that means. Nothing wrong with a little salt and butter. Okay. Uh, it's just like a barbecue uh, day. It's it's like you I, know. I've heard there's a place right around the corner here that has uh, he does this kind of barbecue stuff uh, with the corn on the cob with uh, like bacon and yeah. all these. I've never heard of that before. And they say that you should yeah. go to a parade today if you can, because corn on the cob is always at a parade. And that's a new thing. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah they thing. have in that parade uh, you, know you know what? Listen, I got to tell you, I, I'm not too keen about corn on the cob because. It gets caught in your teeth. Yeah. So to me, I like to just shave it down. You know, often. Well, cup. that's I mean, a better way to eat it. You know, I mean, no, but the enjoyment is holding the corn. You know, and crunching away. Yeah, unless you have problems with your teeth. Right, right. Trust me, I have those <laughs> yeah, problems. No, <laughs> these are my real. Teeth. And they also and saying that today is a great, a great reason to have what a cookout, right? Yeah, you eat. No, come on, <laughs> come on. What is it saying? <laughs> yeah, it's a perfect day to have a cookout outside. Craft your own. Lay, what is it? That's a... Uh, lay. Lay? You know, like, that, a, like a Hawaiian lay. Craft your own. Oh, okay. You know, it's like it's, those pretty things you wear around your neck. Okay, I got it. Sorry, my fault. And stay at home. And, um... Yeah, all these things I gotta tell you. King Kamehameha Day. You know, I gotta tell you, I lived in Hawaii. And King Kamehameha. On the side of going to, uh... Konea, uh, um, Kanoa, Kaneohe, and then going to Oahu. King Kamehameha, right off the side of the... the bridge, I mean, uh, the, the mountain, prisoners had a chance to survive and not go to jail. What happens, he would say, if you could jump from the top of the mountain and reach the water, you're free. Really? See, now I didn't know now, nothing yeah, about this, you, you did. Now, and I gotta tell you something, nobody ever made it. King Kamehameha. Yeah, 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 King Kamehameha. See, that's something yeah. that and you And I gotta tell you, it's really, really crazy. So when you're driving up the mountain and you, and you look, first of all, there's no way you could jump from there to even reach the water, because that's how far it is. Well, yeah, I it, died. It's great. You know that. That's, that's it. Well, it's either that or, or you know, being in jail, which you're not going to be too happy. You in know, jail? Too in no, jail, yeah. I don't think so. <laughs> you, would, you wouldn't do well. No. In jail. <laughs> so we have to hear a little bit about this spa. Talk to us. So, Angela, where is your spa? Talking to the mic. Okay, talking to the mic. 700 Franklin Avenue, Quality Square. Okay. Right. How long are you there? Uh, we've been four years. Four years already. Yes. But I don't know you four years. Um, the breakfast no, club I, is. I went there. I gotta tell you, I'm sorry. I didn't mean yeah. to cut you off, but. That's all right. Your place is beautiful. Thank it's you. beautiful, and and I remember I, I got a massage, and as soon as I was done with the massage, I went um. went outside, and I see her there. So her being there, she's passed out like this. Well, her they face know is that. all wrapped up. And I left her in there because she wouldn't wake up. She was so comfortable. Well, yes. they, I get special treatment there, right? Yes. <laughs> but breakfast club members come, right? And you're very good to the breakfast club. Yes. Yeah, she is. She's very, very good. But you guys, um, what's the, uh, in that, isn't it by the, there's like a diner there? The old radio shack, right? Yes. There used to, there used to be, you're located in the old radio shack. On Franklin uh, Avenue. Franklin Avenue, yes. 700 Franklin yes, Avenue. 700, yes, 700, yeah. Now let's talk about your salt cave. Your salt cave is like unbelievable. Yes. Now what does the salt cave do? Uh, the salt cave, most people can sit down there and relax. Okay, sit down there. Yeah. So you're in, you're in water or you're not in water? What are you, you're just sitting, because I never did that, so I don't know anything about it. Just sit on the chair. Okay. Relax. Okay. Right. 
And it's cold in there, I'm freezing in there. It has to be, it has to be. It has to be cold, it's very quiet. And yeah. sometimes you also have, uh, what, aerobics in there and, uh, and um, yoga? Yeah, we have yoga class. Maria, right? Maria's your yoga teacher? Yes. Yes, and now with the pandemic, you've been having to close and you changed everything in the spa. Yeah. What did you do? When, curtains? Yeah, we make a nice, beautiful curtain. Yes, and you paint it, it's so pretty. Yes. And it's so clean. I went in there, I could have ate off the floor the other day when I came to see how nice it looked. So wait, now you're allowed to serve everyone? You're allowed to, I mean... I mean when? Yeah, when when are you, you allowed open? to open up? When are you open? I think it is 24. Okay. June 24? June, June 24. Yes, yeah. right now just uh, salt cake. Right. Just the salt cake, okay. Yes. But uh, the salt cake, how many people? Yeah, how many people could fit in that? Not my size. Ten people my size? Yeah, sure. Okay, wow. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> okay. Right now, because the coronavirus, we right. need to keep everybody six feet. So okay. five people. Five people. Okay. And um, we understand that you are going to do something very special for the people at Northwell Hospital in North Valley Stream. You're going to be giving the people that work at the hospital something special. So uh, you haven't made the announcement yet. Today's the first day you're talking about it. So what they're doing, Greg, is they're getting 200 people at Northwell Hospital in Valley Stream the ability to go and experience the salt cake. And they're going to come in only five at a time, and it's all going to be worked out through the breakfast club right, right. with us good, 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 and appointments. Good. Oh, great. So now, how long do you sit in the salt cake for? Uh, 45 minutes. 45 minutes. Yeah. Can you put your headset on? Can you, or do you have to? I mean, how do you see it? with all your clothes, your bathing suit, shorts, what? With a towel, it's naked, what? Normal clothes. We normal, have, regular clothes. Normal clothes. Yeah. Oh, really? We have. Well, that's so good it's today. nothing like yeah. a steam. It's not like a steam room, right? No. Oh, okay. That's what I'm thinking. of. So with the aromas and beautiful, beautiful room. And I want to say thank you for the gift that they gave us. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, thank it's you. very pretty. Thank, thank you. you. Now, Angela, what if somebody doesn't want to wear his clothes? Like, probably Greg. He probably wants Look, to come in and strip. I don't like to wear clothes. I do, no, no, I just, I don't. If, so if, what, I, if I could walk around naked, I would walk around naked. So what would I you just don't what, like clothes. What would you I'm do? Not, I'm not going to do that, but I'm just saying, to me, I just like, well, I, you know, that's all I'm saying. I understand. That's all, you know, so. I mean, when you go to a sauna, you just put a towel around you, and you sit in the sauna, and you sweat, and you sweat, and you sweat. That's what I mean, and that's, yeah. so. But there's also a place in in the cave where you can make a wish at the Buddha in the corner when I when you put money in the thing. Yeah. What is that about? That this place, um, the stuff is everything made uh, use the how how many the salt? Right, the salt. Yeah, we have a show uh, special shop. You can use cooking. Right. Like this lamp. You can the lamp is beautiful. You can put the oil, make and then they yeah. put you in a good mood, right? Yeah. All kinds of things could happen in that room. Oh, this, right? God. here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Trying to keep a show clean. Yeah. It's all over. Well, we have children here. Look. Bet. Look at them. Look. So, Caesar, <laughs> how do you like the soul cave? It's good. Yeah. Do you go in there a lot? Nah. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are you doing there? Just play. Play. You, do you help mommy, like, get the people to take them to the back a little bit? A little bit. Yeah, and you read your book in there? You read books and you color? Only two times. Oh, is that all? Okay. So you get bored in there then. But there's a, there's a nice luncheonette next door where you go and get something to eat, right? Yeah, okay. And what happens when, uh, when Valentina comes in? What's the first thing you do? Hug her. Uh, look at that. Okay. He's a hugger. Get after my own heart. He's a hugger. I like that. Very I like good, that a lot. Yeah, I like Very that a lot. good, Caesar. You, you answered all the right that. questions. And we love you. You know that. And we love your mom, Angela. She's the greatest. You know what? I was yeah. wondering. So, does he get massages too? No. 
Oh, no. no. <laughs> you can't rub, because I was going to say, anytime I drive, you could, you could go in the back of my car and just rub my shoulders when I drive. So I have a portable masseuse. What? <laughs> He's like, what? What do you think? Talking mic. You get paid. You might get a tip. You will get a tip. Don't bet on horses. You okay? You like what? Xbox? Do you like Xbox? Do you play video games? Xbox. No? Yes. Oh, okay. A little bit. So what are your hours? What are your hours? What time do you? Um, 10.30 to 9 o'clock. Oh wow, that's a long day. Absolutely. Wow, that's a very long day. Well, I'm telling you, everybody that um, comes to your place loves it. Greg tried it twice. Yeah. Definitely. I, I, I didn't do the... Well, what did okay. you do? I, no, uh, oh, that, you do everything. No. I took it all. No, it's the one where you, when you sit back and you wrap the whole, you wrap her head up. With the heat. Yeah, and I was, try, I was yeah. trying to wrap her neck around a little tighter, but, you know, he, she was... No, you do a beautiful job. Everybody should go and meet Angela soon. Because right now she's not doing, it's not open, but she stops in. And um, she'd love to meet all the people in the community. And what you're doing for the Northwell Health people. That's it's really, not that's, just that's for doctors. Wonderful. That's wonderful. It's for any essential worker. You, you could be have any job there. The first 200 people will be, you know, the first is going to be first come, first served right. by appointment. And you're only going to allow five people in at a time. Yes. Is that what yes. it is? Yep. Mm -hmm. Five at a time, okay. And, you know, you should be commended for what you're doing in the community. Not very many people would do that. And they're going to love you. And, you know, it's a good... Who, does, who doesn't love it? She's, yeah, she's, she's so sweet. She really is. She's and you're so beautiful. Oh, do you, you use the oils on your skin? That's why you're so beautiful? Yeah, sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes. And what about the music that you play? Uh, the music... Yeah. yeah, and sometimes the salt cave they play, the people can talk like a meditation. Yeah. Oh, it's like a meditation. Yeah. So if a couple wants to have the whole salt cave to themselves, they pay extra for that? Like let's say a husband and wife want to just do it for themselves. Yeah, they can. They pay a little extra. Pay, yeah, more money. And what if somebody wants to have a massage in the salt cave? Yeah, we do massage in the salt cave. But then you also have those great chairs, right? Where you can just sit in the chair? No, we move all the chair out. Yeah, we put people, yeah. Okay. We can do the couple massage and the foot massage. It's very good for people. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, do you like the Franklin Square? Yes, I like it. Yeah, that's great. And you live locally, right? <laughs> and you're, you're an honorary member of the Breakfast Club. Yes. Remember. And you actually um, supported us and came to the book launch, and it was great. Thank you. Yeah, they were at the book launch with us, and um, you know, did you have fun? Yeah. And did you read the books? Yes. You did. Yes. Good. That's great. And I think you also got a book for Caesar, the yeah. little the children's book that we were selling. Yes. Good. You know, I do have to tell you the kids that we're working out, guys. I apologize. Um, like I said, this is a trial and error period, so it's getting better and better. The sound's getting better and better. Nobody's complaining about the sound, so that's a good thing. Listen, okay, this is so why. I love that. I love Watch that. the Jimmy Kimmel show tonight. They're having the kinks, too. Yeah. I don't feel bad about the kinks. Everybody's having right. the kinks, Everybody and Jimmy Kimmel kids. has his kids under the table, scrunching at his feet, and he doesn't know what to do, and he's always like in the chair, like, really? yeah. Because the kids are all you know, working. I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, all right. Just watch the Jimmy Kimmel show. We don't look that way. Got to give some quick shout-outs. Uh, Jennifer, how are you? Jenny A, Jenny C, Karen, how are you? I saw you drive by the other day. I don't think I didn't see you. I did see you drive by. Gracie. Baby, uh, baby, baby. Gracie, soon we'll see you. Brenda, how are you, sweetie? Mickey, how you doing, hon? Everybody's doing well. Ro, how are you, sweetie? Uh, your teeth are... <laughs> He goes, I hope your teeth are good when you're biting into the corn. Uh, who said that? Uh, Ro. Ro, she's in that. Oh. Uh, Dana, how are you? And we have, okay, Susan. I don't know, Greg, just give me a shout out. David, how you doing? Robert. And there's a whole bunch of other people, but I really can't see it too well today. I'm sorry. Kristen Owen, Chris, Daniel, Ellen, Deborah, Patricia, and other Jenny. Robin, hi, sweetie. How you doing? And Karen again. Very so, nice. Thanks, fans. We always I love having you. Steve's watching. Steve just came on. How are you, buddy? Steve. Steve. Mr. Steve. Mr. Steve. Why, yeah. Mr. Steve? Yeah. 
Mine is the same. Okay, my thing. Oh, look, how, look how happy she is right now. Yeah, always. Angela, so where can they come? Franklin Avenue. Your hours again? Tranquility Spa. 10, 11 to 9. What'd you say? The hours? 10.30 to 9 o'clock. 10.30. Ask for Angela. Tell them you saw her on the Breakfast Club show when you go. Because she keeps a record of who we recommend. And that makes her happy because we're always talking about Angela, the Tranquility Spa. And congratulations on what you're doing for Northwell Health. They're going to be coming. I'm going to be bringing them over on Tuesday at the end of the day. And it's Caesar. What do you have to say? Say something, because we're going off there. What, what grade are you in? First? First. Give you, oh, excellent. What school do you go to? Coburn. All right. You got a good school, Coburn Avenue. Great school. You got a nice deli down the block. No? You don't like the deli? You like, <laughs> what kind of food do you like? What kind of food do you like? What's your favorite food? What do you ice like? cream. <laughs> Everything. He's not big. He's you not like big. candy, right? Yeah. Right. Here you go. Here's some candy for you. Hope you can have it. Is that okay, Mommy? Yeah, he's a, he can have it. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just for you. You're going to get to call it today, all right? Okay, because oh, I have my hook. Oh, look at this. Oh, you're so sweet. He's a, he's a keeper. What a beautiful boy. He's definitely a keeper. Okay, he's well, thank you guys for coming. Well, guys, thank you so much for coming on the show. Yeah. And we will see you soon, I promise. I'll, I'll definitely be there. Okay. Well, I'll be there tomorrow. Well, we don't need a toast, you know that? How could you not toast? I love that toast. You're on your own today. You're fired. Get out. You're fired. Anyway. Anyway. Cheers, guys. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Now, we have uh, a couple of singers. They don't even really sing, from what I understand. I think oh, they just... They uh, sing. Do they, they sing? Do they? Absolutely, they sure. sing. Well, I want to show this. We have two stars here. All right. We have candy. Jerry Ferretti, Master Pete was born. He's an actor, he's a singer, he's a performer. He runs the Long Island Film Festival. <clears throat> he, per he put my book on the screen last year. Yeah, that's right, that's right. My that's right. book was on the big screen last year. He does a lot of great things, and I met him through Facebook. Right. He has a great movie. What's the name of it? More. Jerry Ferretti. You have to pick that oh, one up again. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. And right. uh, so it was Mark. Yes. And it was great. I had a blast that night. Met a lot of great people. And then we have somebody new that I don't know yet. Hello. I love your hair. You have so much of hair. <laughs> very, very nice. Pat Roman. I How love it. Is your hair longer than usual because of the pandemic? Yes. Yeah, but it's pretty good. I can't find my barber. Yeah, well, there's not a cell phone. Yeah, well, the barbers are open, but the lines are down. Forget it. <laughs> yeah. You're in the Mutant Kings with Jerry. Yes, yes. You're a bass player, you're an actor, you're a music enthusiast, and I understand you're in some kind of a reading of Key Largo at HB Studios in Manhattan? Yes, yes. What's that? I, I, don't, I don't know what that is. It was a reading of the, uh, the original play, Key Largo, which was turned into a movie called Key Largo. Oh, please. Yeah, the play was a lot different. It was run by Vincent Pestor from The Sopranos and Maureen Van Zandt. Oh. And, um, it went really well. It's a great experience. And I understand rumor has it you have some kind of songwriters TV reality show? Well, there's my director right here. Speak <laughs> to him about that. Oh! <laughs> it's some kind of a show. We're in the school together. We broke together. Right. And as you know, we uh, had a play Grace the Gap, which is about four friends um, who were in a band together. And when they get older, they have a good song. They reconnect. And they have a good song. And 50s, but everybody thinks it's for 20 year olds. So nobody knows it's actually for old guys. Oh. Right. Well, yeah, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. You get into it. That. Okay. okay. So what happened is I wanted to form this band for the play, and I had the play open a couple of years ago. But as the years went on, I was able to make it actually a reality. I got a couple of my high school friends together, and they're actually in the band now. So we're in the oh, so it's a whole group of guys. musicians. Pat and I reconnected again to so my second grade class. Actually. Yes. Nice. And another guy, Andrew, was in our, our school together. 
and they're all part of the Mutant Kings now, so they're actually like art, life imitated art. Wow, and that's pretty neat. Oh How did you come up with that name? The, the, the band, when they were teenagers, they called themselves the Kings in the 70s when they were 17, 18 years old. This is from the play. Right, this is from the play. So now, in the present day, when they have this hit song, they have kids that are teenagers. Well, they're the ones who actually put the song out on the internet. And they really? Go, they go, nobody's going to listen to our dads if they see it's four old guys. Right. So they take images of their parents. Right. Older. <laughs> older. 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 So the really? like Mutant Kings okay. become this hit band that nobody knows who they are. So when we became real, I said, I want the Mutant Kings to become a real band. And we started, you know, but they're all professional musicians. They all play with like other bands and all. So we formed this and now we're playing out pre-pandemic. So we were supposed to play here. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. That's right. That's right. Don't worry. Was, don't worry. worry. Listen, listen, listen. Well, it was supposed to be for June 20th. No, no, May 20th. May 20th. May 20th. May 20th. Yeah. Yeah. I apologize. So but you know we're going to schedule so I'm not yes. even worried about it. And, and that's what led into the songwriting, because I write music, I wrote music for the play, and then I learned Pat is also a songwriter, and I've had this reality show idea centered around songwriters. So I got together with him, I brought in the cinematographer, and we filmed a couple of pilots with another high school friend. Mm -hmm. That's great. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. We're trying, we're pitching that now. Oh, you're pitching it like an English I thought you were going to tell me when I heard with the kings, I, I, I thought I'm hearing something with the Latin kings. <laughs> 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 like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm more uh, quarter Latin. Uh, so okay. Okay. Well, I'm thinking of the king <laughs> pink. You know, the king pink from New Orleans? You know what I mean? The king uh -huh. pink? Okay, yeah. I figured you were going to bring the cake with the king in it. You know? Right? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's great, but you know, you know each other since second grade. Yes. That's very, very special. Yeah. I have a friend saying, I know us in second grade. Really? That was my first book. It was about us. And uh, we're still very close. And, um, you know, there's nothing like it. And I'm sure you'll always be like this. Because it, it, it just doesn't happen to everybody. Some people yeah. are lucky. And I'm a pest, so I'm always calling and saying, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. Oh, really? Yeah. Is he? Is he? Oh, yeah. A good, 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 a
But I'm leaving town, baby, leaving town for sure. Who won't be bothered with me hanging around your door? That's all right. That's all right. That's all right now, mama. Story 
the guy, you know, the high school guy, the one guy from the band who left, he reconnects with his old flame. And they're trying to, when they, after they have their hit song, they have to write another hit song. That's what their manager together, tells together them. Together they Well, yeah, they're like, but now you got to write another one. They're like, you came to us 30 years to write that <laughs> So the guy goes home, and he's thinking about his past and everything, and then we uh, did this song for the play, which came out of, this is uh, the way I love it. Okay. Next in line to hear my song told me everything was wrong with the words I chose to say I love you So I packed my things and headed home picked up the telephone and called Tell you how I feel From the moment we met you were my best friend I want to grow old with you Give me butterflies and I'm head over heels Lay down my life for you Glass of wine sitting here listening to you guys. Wow, the show wow. must go on, I gotta tell you. Very, you guys are something. Very, cheers, cheers, guys. Very, okay. very. You I'm good right now. Okay, good. That's a good answer, Sammy. Nice. Right. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it's fun doing it. places to do it, but, you know, I put on a couple of theaters on Long Island, but it's a lot of work, yeah. so doing the film work, and of course I have the film festival. Right, which is, like, exciting. Which, so, so when you do 
do a play, you get a lot of that one. Yeah. We had six performances of it. Right. So when you did yeah. the play, you went from restaurants to restaurants to do it? The play? Yeah. No, no. No, theater. this was in a theater. Yeah. On oh. stage in a theater. Oh, in oh, yeah. theater. So okay. I used to do that years ago. Back, I from, back in the oh, old days. Right. I remember you did but, it, yeah. And it's funny because Pat, to, to, to Pat's credit, I mean, he had not worked in theater before. And he gave me my break. <laughs> yeah, but you know, Pat, Pat looks like he's a very flexible guy. He, and you might not be as flexible. You he, might you're always pushing. Him. Okay, yeah, so he, he's, he was a natural. He really yeah, you could see that. It was he, a great experience, Jerry. It really was. Yeah, I appreciate that. So wait a second. How many songs do you guys have? A lot, right? A ton, right? Well, yeah. I mean, with the band, we have a we're, we're, we're building our yeah. repertoire, and then you know, that's a, a songwriter too. And uh, he wrote. I know during the quarantine, you were. What did you write? Oh, oh, right. Quarantine you like, songs. Well, you know, listen. I gotta tell you, especially on Thursday evenings. It's about music, entertainment. I mean, it's also everything and nothing and all that good stuff. But music is king. Yeah. And I gotta tell you something. If you have a quarantine song, can you sing one? Um. Yeah, I can try and sing a little of it. Just a little of it. Yeah. Just a little of it. Where is it going? Just a little of it. I can't wait to hear it because you know the quarantine really affected all of us. Yeah. yeah. And I feel like I've changed. Did you think I've changed? Yes, 100%. I've changed.
just like yesterday. I listen to the talking heads, what they have to say. I'm trying to stay hopeful, praying for the best. As people pass away. But we're all in this together. We're gonna go through the rain. But we're all in this together. Cause we're all the same.
Mr. Paulie Puccio, BB, Mr. BB, Mr. Handyman, the Honeydew, the Honeydew. The Honeydew, Paulie. Honeydew this, Honeydew that. That's right, and Twink, uh, Twink, 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 Killer. Twink, Quillity, Spot On. Quillity, Spot We want to thank you so much. Can I give a shout out to my daughter, Valentina? Hey, Valentina. You have a daughter, Valentina? Yeah. She's over there. Hi, Hi hon. Valentina, All right. that's my name. <laughs> oh, my God, I have to meet her. That is wonderful. And we want to thank that. We want to thank that. We want to thank you today on my roll. Uh, New York Photo Video Group, thank you so much for all you guys do. Charlie and Joe. And one of our new spots is coming aboard, which is going to probably be on Monday with Aslan, Eugene Lieberman. He's a great friend of mine. And it's something you guys definitely have to get his ass Absolutely. You know? When you're our age, I'm saying your age. Your age. I'm the well, one. I'm I know. You're younger than me. I'm 25. But I also have something to say that I want to say to everybody. Rise, now is the time to rise. And do you know how you rise? You rise by lifting others up. And forget about the hot air balloon and all the gas coming out of your mouth because it's not the right thing to say. Rise by lifting others up. Because that's what this country needs. Everybody needs it. So on that note, what do you think of that? That's it. So now let's hear it. Thank you. 